Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and we're going to try and keep this really short, really quick. Uh, we have a whole bunch of news that just came out. Unfortunately, there's no major mega thread of everything that had happened, everything that's come out with the most recent release. But we're going to go over everything that I've scoured upon the Reddit. So thank you to the Reddit, shout out to the Reddit, and everyone who I'm going to be going over all the posts. There's a whole bunch of posts up here, actually. Uh, first one is, daily login rewards have changed. The time that you get them has changed. Uh, it's changed once before, so any of you who are, I guess, newer in the past, I'd say probably a year... The, um, the login rewards used to be at a different time. I forget off the top of my head, but I know that they were at a different time. They have changed again, since so this is the second time, I believe, that they have changed. Uh, it's now 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. So that's cool. Just keep that in mind. Uh, Login for your daily rewards at that time now. Uh, next one is, we are going to be getting uh, a little bit over 20 stones a day, 22 stones a day precisely, uh, for a month, with, but with uh, login special mission bonuses and everything. So that's going to be phenomenal. There's two separate posts about this, actually, and it's coming. We see it on dbz.space. So it, it's freaking nuts. Uh, I can't wait for that. That's awesome. I think that the whole mentality behind it for all these mission rewards with all these stones is, one, to keep people from rerolling. You're actually going to have to play the game to get all of these stones. It'll help alleviate the servers for if, you know, assuming uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event that's coming out is going to be here um, soon. People won't won't have the ability to reroll for a login bonus of stones. I mean, who knows? Maybe we will get a whole bunch of stones for that also. Um, I guess it's also Bandai's mentality of we just went hardcore for the Super Saiyan fours, so it's kind of like a gift to us uh, that hey, you know, you guys put so much money, we got so we got to the top in the app store. They made so much money. Here's a whole bunch of stones for the Super Saiyan four Gogeta event. Um, so that's cool. Uh, we're jumping over here now. We're this is for a, a dump essentially. This is supposed to be a dump of all the information that's come out so far. Uh, it doesn't have everything that I am going to talk about, but it has some things. So tickets are returning with the 200 million celebration tickets. Uh, essentially, JP side they should be getting their one ticket per 50 stones spent for a specific period of time. I mentioned that in another video. I don't have the date off the top of my head. Um, I don't think the global side is going to get that. There's no mention on our side about that. But we might get something like a daily lo a login bonuses or something for, um, uh, like we did with the Super Saiyan 4s during the two-year anniversary. You go onto the one banner at the physical Gotenks, so you can pull on that and get try your luck. We might get something to that, but we won't actually know till the event starts. Uh, Global versus JP event, that's the event where you go in and you grind out one event. The, the, the actual uh, version of the game that gets the most grinds wins the STR Vegeta, the loser gets Yamcha. <laughs> for the, for the uh, love of Bulma. Uh, the SSR Agility Genki Dama Goku is getting his Doken Waking. Uh, then we get the Bulma, the, the one that, that Yamcha and Vegeta are fighting over. And then the Bojack event is returning. Now with the Bojack event returning, let's go ahead and talk about this over here. We have a whole bunch of new information uh, about these characters over here. They, these are all Doken Awakenings that are getting. Now typically, they I'm pretty sure these guys got Doken Awakenings uh, throughout different times. I don't really know. Let me know down in the comments of what time they actually Doken on the JP side. Um, Android 17, Android 18 get Doken Awakenings. I'll be doing an in-depth review, by the way, of all these cards and giving you an idea of who you should pick. Um, the Gohan is getting a Doken Awakening, Zanya, and the Bojacks. So, they're pretty damn good. Um, they're really good. Remember, these two are Orb Changers. Gohan's really good and viable on an agility team if you are lacking key. So, like, if you're one of those guys who can't get your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Doken Awakened, but you're running him as a lead, but you're lacking key, you're going to want to Doken Awaken this Gohan if you have him because of his key support passive. Um... Well, I'll be going over an in-depth review. I will say, out of all these, just based off of the card and what they can do, the Gohan's probably going to be your number one choice, but I will do an in-depth review of that. Um, something really quick, the super color has changed, so I guess it looks more fancy. That's cool. <laughs> um, the next one is, let's see, app reset still working, so you can close out your phone in the middle of it if you're getting super attacked before you die. Uh, so you do the hard reset, essentially. Uh, and that way you don't actually die during that. So I think that was supposed to be patched out in this update, but it wasn't. I'm assuming it was purposely purposely left left out on there um global database new items as of 726 super 17's dokun metal all right cool so we know super 17's a thing it's gonna be coming soon tech balm is awakening yes we know about that we talked about that we talked about that jade potential orbs for the tech balma so tech balma apparently has her own orb system now i know i, I don't do a lot of bleach brave souls but there are special frenzy characters that you can use and essentially they have their own metals that way you can uh, expand their soul tree it's the same thing that we saw with the goku jr on the jp side of dokkan battle so that's pretty cool i like how they're doing that i think that's going to be a good feature moving forward in the game new, new card updates this is what we talked about a little bit before um on the new I items that are going to be getting dokkan or cards that are going to be getting dokkan available well dokkan awaken goddamn <laughs> speak english um, apparently, though, because I already sp spoke about all the rest of this, we have the Neo Godly Korra 
has been translated. Uh, uh, Angel Goku has Timebreaker Bardock, LR Ginyu, Agility Hercule for the 777 cumulative login bonuses. Kid Vegeta is finally coming here. Remember, that Kid Vegeta is really good. He is the best at free-to-play agility leader you have. He is like a mini god lead. Key plus three HP attack and defense. I believe it's 30%. Super, super viable. Okay, when you're going up against the uh, LR Frieza event in the future when we get the uh, strength one. Um, physical, oh, I'm sorry, no, the, the current one that's actually out, I'm sorry. Uh, physical Z Sword Gohan and Physical Super Buu is also coming out. Um, those are the physical respective extreme and super support units. So, all this stuff is going to be coming out soon. Holy shoot, guys, like, I can't wait for that. That's going to be insane. Um, you go over to dbz.space forward slash cards forward slash an active in order to find it. Um, that's all going to be there. And then we have uh, more event notes over here. Uh, apparently, on the 27th, so that's tomorrow... Tomorrow night, PDT, so probably on the 28th morning for Eastern Time. Vegeta, Yamcha, and Balma, and Spirit Bomb, Goku, Dokkan events start um, 11.30 p.m. the same night, so like an hour and a half later. Uh, Android 17, Android 18 Dokkans are going to be released. I'm assuming that's when we do the changeover. Um, and then on the 31st of July, that's, in, that's in another couple, five more days, uh, the Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, Bojack, and Zanya Dokens. That's going to be awesome. Specifically me, I want to get the rest of my Gohan's Dokken Awakened for my LR Gohan if I ever pull him. Um, I have a couple left. And then I want to start grinding out medals for Bojack because I want to get my I want to get Bojack up to Super Attack level 10 before I Dokken Awaken him. He's a good, cool unit, but he's not going to really be that viable. Uh, he's just cool to have. I like him. And he is a pretty good unit if you don't have better units. Both of them are, actually. As I stated before, Cooler and Angel Goku are in the database, so per the second point that I made in yesterday's or last night's video, uh, they're not being replaced. They are there. They're going to be on the global side of Dokkan Battle, so that's awesome. Um, new shop is in is uh, been released. That is the peel off shop. So um, I'm making another comparison to Bleach Brave Soul since I play it. We have this monthly thing that comes around where you can purchase uh, an, uh, an item pack. And it's usually cheaper than buying a uh, an ore pack or a stone pack would be in Dokkan Battle. And this is look like exactly what they're doing. It's the peel-off shop pack. Um, you see this icon when you log in on the top right. It gives you a whole a little description of what's going on, what you could do there. Essentially, it gives you some stones. It gives you some items. It gives you some awakening medals. And it gives you one GSSR ticket. Before, on the JP side, you would have to go and purchase a stone pack in order to get that ticket to purchase one of the characters that I had mentioned um over here so essentially when you make that purchase you can choose one of these carrot well maybe not the zanya but you could choose one of these ssrs to purchase so that way you can grab them and that's what i was talking about when i was saying you could select that gohan so if you purchase it um if you're still debating you have some time so just uh wait if you're if you're waiting um i'm gonna go over a video probably later on tonight about which one you should doken awaken um, but again uh right off the top of my head just for the best in terms of links and in terms of um, their passives and what they do for a team. That Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's probably going to be your primary choice. Um, outside of that, this is a list of all of the inactive characters that are currently here. Um, this is a screenshot taken directly from dbz.space. So um, that's awesome. As you can see here, we have the LR Ginyu, we have the Korra. Um, Korra, yeah, everything's here, uh, even the, the other Korra. <laughs> and the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and his uh, physical variant. So. That's awesome, guys. Th this is great. Global's going down a really good path right now, so it's a really, really good time to play the game. I hope you all are as hyped as I am. This is going to be great. Like I said, later on today, I will be doing a video when I get back from home from work, so expect that around, like, probably midnight um, on Eastern Time, midnight for me to release another video with any other additional information that comes out. Um, thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the comments below.